Bionic Commando, originally released as Hitler's Revival Top Secret in Japan. I shit you not, people. His nasty, swastika wearing ass appears in the start of the game. He's an action platformer released on both the Famicom and Nintendo Entertainment System in 1988. It's based on the 1987 arcade game of the same title. You play as Lad Spencer and must explore each stage to collect the necessary equipment to progress. As a long-standing member of the FF Battalion, Lad is equipped with a mechanical arm that has a grappling gun. He uses this to swing along or pull himself forward because he lacks the ability to jump. So you set out to rescue Super Joe and uncover the mysterious Albatross project secrets. It's essentially an 8-bit Just Cause, if Just Cause was linearish and you couldn't choose or jump what you wanted to do. Well, you can kind of choose what you do. You move Lad across numbered areas starting at zero, then can traverse to a connected number. If you don't cross path with an enemy, you can descend and play that level, or even transfer to a different area. If you do in fact get intercepted by an enemy vehicle though, you have to take part in a battle from an overhead perspective. You select a weapon, protective equipment and special weapon before being dropped into the 2D action. The D-pad is used to move with the buttons allowing you to attack enemies or use your grappling hook. That bionic arm will both dement you and save you on regular occasions. It was once ranked as the 17th best Nintendo Entertainment System game by Nintendo Power and once described as one of the console's most original games of all time. Games Radar even ranked it as the 4th best NES game ever made. It's a novel idea and with Capcom at the reins you know you're in good hands. Nice graphics excluding everyone's most hated fascist dictator in the Japanese original. Original gameplay and tight controls meld completely to make this a fun and novel game. 